<laughs> Good morning. It's blueberry picking season. And look what we have. A stash of blueberries. So, me and Besh, Besh and I, oh, Zoom, have picked these blueberries this morning. And I tell you, there's a lot out there. So, this is how we prepare our blueberries when we get back home again. So, just so you know, this is one hour of picking between the two of us. So, it's very easy and very natural. So, I put them into another bowl. So, actually what we do is, well, I pick into the small bowl and then toss them into the big bucket as I go along because this is lighter and easier on the hands. <laughs> so, then we put them in this bucket. And there's lots of leaves and stuff and little stems that I just start picking out as I see them. I mean, no matter what, you can eat them anyways, and I'm sure we do, along with some bugs and <laughs> it's good fiber. That's right. Pick out some dead blueberries. And then, tap water. And so what I wash all my fruits and vegetables with is just plain old vinegar. Throw it in. We'll kill the bugs. Get them all nice and clean. And that's it. Just move them around. It's not very difficult. Like I said, I do this for everything. So when I get our basket from Roots Country Farm, um, I do all the kale and broccoli and what else do we get? All kinds of stuff, lettuce, everything. Just put them in a big bath of vinegar water. You don't need to new, use any chemicals at all. Oh look, we'll save this bug. So I'll just lay him here for now. <laughs> I'd like to say no bugs are harmed in the making of this video, but Kind of is the point so that we're not eating them. Anyhow, so what I do then is we just leave it here, I don't know, 15 minutes just to make sure everything's doing what it needs to do. And a lot of the little floaties come up to the surface. So then you can just skim along. They actually stick to your hand pretty good. So I just skim and I just pull them out. It's a bit of a process, but it's worth it because blueberries are one of the best foods in the world. They're full of antioxidants and everything else. And they're organic. They grow everywhere here. And they're the world's superfood. So, Besh and I take advantage of blueberry season. And we pick our stash and then we freeze them. Of course, we eat them as we go along, too. Usually after all our blueberry hunting trips. Um, our teeth are blue, our tongue is blue, but I mean how good is that? Like right off the vine into your mouth? Like that's the bomb. Considering how much food we have to ship into Newfoundland, they say that, what is it, 90% of our fruits and vegetables and food come from somewhere else, not on the island. And with our potentially crappy weather, uh, a lot of times, planes and boats can't get into here. And then what do we do? So, Besh and I do the old-fashioned foraging and freezing. Now, meanwhile, we're not doing it like old Newfoundland when you'd have to, like, get your chunk of ice and store it that way. We have a lovely upright freezer, which makes it way easier. And so we prep all these and then we eat them all year long. Mostly we use them in smoothies because after they're frozen, um, they kind of, when they thaw, they're a bit mushy. So they're not as good, obviously, as they are raw. Anyhow, so we do our raw and then we do our frozen all year long. Anyhow, so after that, pick through them a bit. More floaties will come to the top and I, Besh and I just come back and pick through it, pick up stuff, pick up any bugs and any twigs and any little stems that are still on them. And after that, pour it into the colander, rinse them off, 
And then, uh, oh, oh, great. What we do is what I learned. Is then I, I mean, normally they say put them in on parchment paper on the on a cookie sheet. So parchment paper, rinse them first, lay them out here. You know, if you can dry them off a little bit, that's always good. And lay them out on a, a cookie sheet. Pop them in your freezer for about I don't know 45 minutes. And then best way to remember is to set your timer and then freeze them. And so what that does is rather than shoving all these now into a Ziploc bag, this helps them separate. So then you scrape them off with a spatula, pop them in your Ziploc bag, and then they're all separate. So when you go to eat them over the winter, you just go and you can shake them out. They're all individual little blueberries mostly. And it's way easier than a, a big solid mass of blueberries. Anyhow, that's how we prepare our blueberries. Very simple, very natural, pretty quick. The longest part is picking them and eating them as we go along. Actually, I should have checked my teeth before we did this video. <laughs> now I won't smile with my teeth. Anyhow, blueberry season in Newfoundland happening now at a bush near you. <laughs>